Welcome back. We are here on Ethereum looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, February 12th, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. So the link is down below. You're very welcome to join. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, we continue to rally. We are not seeing Bitcoin pulling back significantly towards the 20 exponential moving average and the previous highs here, which is roughly at 40,000. So we are trading at uh, 46,900 or 47,000 at this point, and we're just trading sideways or trending sideways at this point. So what I'm looking for is a pullback towards 40,000. We'll probably not get that. That it's um, at this point, people are just buying every single cryptocurrency there is, even though it is a completely new cryptocurrency or with one much less value than the Bitcoin. It is absolutely crazy how much um, attention the cryptocurrency market is getting at this point, and all that good news is basically making people uh, buy, and that is just um getting the price to go up so some of the cryptocurrencies that we're going to look at uh, they are absolutely absolutely significantly overbought and overstretched and we may see a pullback similar to what we saw here uh, where we fell from roughly forty thousand all the way down towards uh, twenty nine thousand we we will, we will see that for some of those cryptocurrencies at some point where because they're getting towards uh, RSI levels that are above 90 and it's just a matter of time before they lose uh, a quarter of their value. But uh, Bitcoin is holding very well around this area here, but I'm looking for a pullback towards the 20 exponential, which should be significant support also because this was the previous highs here. So pullback towards the 40... Um, thousand level and then target 50 50 is probably going to be a very very tough target to cross we did cross 40 and are trading well about that i don't think we're going to see um, lower levels than 40 in the next uh, probably uh, months uh, so if we break below the 50 moving average then yes we could go lower but the 50 is holding very well and as long as there is so much hype in the in the markets about cryptocurrency, I don't really see this dropping anytime soon. So other other than that, technical indicators are looking more bearish. So we're still holding here, but they're still looking more bearish. So the sarcastic has crossed the signal line. The CCI is becoming uh, almost crossing a hundred, becoming also very bearish. And we are at 70 here in the RSI and it's technically flat at this point. So, yes, it's just a matter of weight. It's, it, to, to buy it here is very, very risky, to be very honest. Pull back towards 40,000, that is what I'm going to look for. So let's look at Ether. Drum. So as you can see, we are trading at 1,770. Uh, this is also holding really well. A pullback towards the 20 exponential at roughly 1548. Uh, that is probably as cheap as that you will get this at this point. Technical indicators, they are very flat at this point. So this will most likely make its move when Bitcoin makes its move. So when Bitcoin uh, breaks down, if it breaks down toward 40, then this will probably break down towards the 1500. Uh, level so long-term target here is most likely 2000 that is probably where we'll um, head to so 2000 is similar to bitcoins it's going to be similar to bitcoins 50,000 so there's going to be a lot of resistance when we get to this level and uh, yes it's going to be fairly exciting 20 exponential has been holding really well we haven't had a major pullback since back here this was uh basically in 17 of February, so 7 of February, so last week. So yes, pull back towards the 20 exponential, roughly 15, 55, 55. That
that is where you could enter this market and a target of roughly 2000. So let's look at ADA. So when I was talking about some of the cryptocurrency that we're going to look at are becoming very parabolical. Well, this one is the one I'm talking about. So also NEO that we're going to look at later on, uh, that is also very parabolic, but this is just absolutely nuts. So we took off roughly around this area here at 0 0.45 and now we're almost at $1. So people that bonded down here, well, they tripled technically their money in uh, only a matter of days. But we are going to see this drop. So the question is how far uh, this will drop. So we can look at the Fibonacci retracement, for example, that will give us an indication. The first Fibonacci retracement is here at 0 0.63. So I would also guess that we basically will drop to that level. The reason for that is because we have the 20 exponential here and is also where we have this additional breakout to the upside. If we break even lower, if people start panic um, selling, then yes, we could drop to the 50 Fibonacci at roughly 0 0.52 and then probably also all the way down to uh, 61.8 here at 0 0.42 and there we will have the 50 moving average uh, traveling this way and it will also act as major support but this just can continue forever you can look at the rsi for example we're at 90 at this point in the daily chart technical indicators like the cci are showing signs of this basically going to break down stochastic is flat so momentum is not the same as it has been well, the MACD is just parabolical at this point. So you can look at, for example, GameStop, very similar graph to, to what happened there, where people are just buying and buying and buying. And at some point, this is just going to fall apart. And um, that is going to be your buying opportunity. This is not a buying opportunity here. If you enter this market here, you can lose half of your value in a day or two. So... Be careful with this. So I'm looking at around this area here, around 0 0.50. That is where I'm thinking about uh, buying into this if I, I'm going to invest for the long run. So let's look at Litcoin. So this is a cryptocurrency that I do own uh, with Ethereum as well. Um, so the reason why I did invest in this is because it is not as volatile as for example ADA is it is um, it is acting more like a commodity and it's easier technically to trade and it's fairly predictable where it's going and when it's going to take off and so on so you can see that the 20 the 4 and the 50 moving average are very supportive so we did get fairly parabolical here this is the move where bitcoin went to 40,000 and then we broke down and roughly we lost around 20 25% of its value. Since then it has been fairly stable and now we're having another run and we've basically taken out these previous highs. So this level here is holding uh, fairly well. We could see if we see Bitcoin for example pull back to where, towards 40,000 then we could see this pull back towards these previous highs here and also the 20 exponential moving average. So that is a roughly at 157. And at this point, I will be adding to my position in, in this um, cryptocurrency. So what I think is going to happen in the very long run is that we're going to have thousands. We already have thousands and thousands of cryptocurrencies and you just can't have all of them um, increasing in the same value as Bitcoin, for example. We'll probably have a handful um, in the next few years that will be important, that are, are going to make news. The other ones will not make news. Um, so they'll be used on a regular basis. They'll probably be used on, on, on in major companies like, like uh, PayPal and so on. And some of the other ones will be restricted. So... For example, the, uh, the old and well-established cryptocurrency are most likely going to survive, while the other ones are not. So 
Bitcoin definitely will uh, be one of those. Ethereum definitely will be one of those. Litcoin, most likely, it was developed, I think, two years after um, Bitcoin. So it is a fairly old uh, cryptocurrency that people know. So we'll have additional others that will also be be traded, but it is it is not going to be plausible to have thousands and thousands of cryptocurrencies that all go to the same level of Bitcoin. That is not going to happen at all. But if you go back to this, pull back towards the 20 exponential, roughly at 156, that is where I will be adding to my position. If you look at the technical indicators, they are turning around. We're going getting to the edge of being overbought. Uh, CCI is turning around, Stochastic is turning around, and the MACD is still bullish at this point. So long-term target here, not long-term, but the medium-term target here is $200. So I'll pull back to roughly this area here and target of 200 That is probably going to you know, be plausible at this point. We could also have a smaller pullback towards the previous highs here. And that is roughly at 164 and then target 200. So let's look at NEO. So this cryptocurrency also went absolutely parabolic. This is the what we call the Chinese Ethereum. Technically, the, 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 um, the, the, the one that is competing with Ethereum or that market. And at this point, we are also looking at a fairly big Pull back in this cryptocurrency. So we could fall all the way back to the previous highs here at $28. 20 exponential moving average will be around this area as well. The 50 will move this way and the 200 will move in this way. So probably get, won't get all the way down to 28. If people start panic selling and so on, then yes. But I, I would say a roughly at $30 level, that's where uh, you will see buyers come back in. So pull back from here up towards, um, yes, roughly $40,000, uh, $40, not $40,000, but $40. So we are at 80 here in the RSI. Technical indicators, otherwise, like the CCI are turning around quite aggressively. Stochastic is turning around, while the MACD is very parabolical. If you look at, for example, the Bollinger Band for this cryptocurrency we can see that we are way outside and a pullback towards the middle here give or take as around this area if you buy it here then yes it should be a fairly big bargain because this is probably one of those handful of cryptocurrencies that is going to survive uh, in the long run or it's going to be important and it's going to to go to significantly higher levels so, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to join us over on Patreon, where you, um, the link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.